Hey, this is Dune from Legit Tech Tutorials. Welcome back to Beginning Assembly. Uh, today we're going to, uh, since we just went over loops, we're going to go over two programs that I didn't write myself, but that are used a lot in assembly, um, that use loops. Now basically what these two do is they allow us to do more than one digit of input and output to the screen. So we could have like 5,000 or 5,300 or 5,320, 5,320, instead of just having, you know, um, six or seven or five. So let's go ahead and, and check that out. <coughs> All right, so uh, you're going to have to look these up or copy it from what I have here. It's called get deck and put deck. Okay. So here's the calling sequence. So this is basically how you just use it. Now that's not what we really need to worry about. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at what we got going on here. So this is a public get deck. So this is an external program. We'll work on this uh, a type something like this later, but yeah. Okay, and these are some uh, calls that we have not gone over yet. Basically, what push means is you're pushing the registry on the stack to save a perfect registry because you're going to use those registries inside of the program and you're going to destroy them. So you want to have a safe um, you want to have a safe program when you come back. So right here is pushing zero into BX and then count establish the count ten. And then it's uh, establishing a plus sign. It's doing the get character. And then comparing AL here to a minus sign is the first character, a minus sign. Jump not equal to after read. So it's jumping to after read. Move uh, this negative into sign, yes. So if it, if it, um, if it's not a negative, it will jump to after read. Otherwise, it'll set it to negative. You see there? Because it won't go to this if it jumps. So if it jumps and it's equal to, if this negative is equal to, comparing here, it'll set the flag. And then if it's comparing both sides are negative, it's gonna it's gonna not jump and set the set the sign and then jump. So here's the read loop. Uh, this is just getting the character. So it's reading the character in. And here's the after read. So this is if it's a positive. Is the character a digit? Compare uh, AL zero. Jump. Done. Compare AL nine. JG. Done. This jump. This is jump greater. By the way, this is jump less. So it's basically saying that uh, if zero, if it's less than the, so it's basically using the ASCII to compare whether it is, um, it's checking the ASCII to see if it's underneath that ASCII value of the zero. So if it's if it's less than the ASCII value for zero, then it's obviously not a character because he has not yet stripped the ASCII value, so it comes in as ASCII. So if it's less than that value, because the ASCII goes from zero up is a positive ASCII value. So if it's lower, it's obviously not gonna be a number. So it'll jump, it'll jump if less than to done, and you basically just you know, kill the program for the most part. And here it's checking to make sure that that number is under nine. So it's basically setting a high and low bound and doing a check to make sure it's a digit. And then it will jump greater than, so if it jumps greater than nine, it's obviously not a digit we could work with. So it's jumping out. Stripping the ASCII. Move uh, zero to a high. So this is basically adding the, um, the, decimal, the, the place there exchange AX with BX multiply by CX multiply by the count 
So it'll, that will tell you how many digits you have. That will establish the digits place. And then add the BX to AX. Move the AX into BX. Jump to read loop. And then, so that's basically here, it's just get character. So it just reads, and then it comes back through and does everything over again. So it's after read. So you can see how the loops are very, very utilized inside this program to get all the characters. So I guess if the last character was a 13, it was a return. So that's an enter sign. So you hit an enter sign to uh, m to be done, right? And it's going to basically say jump not equal to so it shouldn't go into this guy, it should just uh, put char 10. So this is gonna this is gonna jump it down to the next level there. And then yeah, and then it's basically done and the program returns. So yeah, so basically all he's doing here is he's got a whole bunch of loops to check for different possible problems with it. And uh, yeah, so I'll try Go ahead and look these up, get deck and put deck, and uh, you should be able to uh, find it. Alright, so let's go ahead and open up. So that was get deck, now we're going to look at put deck. Here's put deck. So this is what we're going to use to put the, uh, the places in. So here is uh, the max number you could have, 32,768. 32,768 is the maximum amount of numbers you could get out of, I think it was 8-bit uh, or 16-bit. I don't know, I forget. <clears throat> so here again, saving the registries, comparing to make sure that... Uh, Like, yeah, I guess that's a special thing because it's the last character. Put string. Jump to done. Jump right equal to is the number negative. So it jumps into here. If you haven't entered in that number. Is the number negative? Um jump greater than or equal to not negative because I guess the uh, the negatives go before there alright so move AX to BX save it from put char uh, negate it put character the negative and here, so that was if it was negative, and here is if it's not negative. So it's initializing the digit count. And this is the base of the displayed numbers, so we're in dec uh, decimal, so it's a 10 digit system, so that's why he's moving 10 in there. Double words to subtract dx from dx. I don't know why he's doing that. Divide by BX. Add uh, zero. Compute the ASCII digit. So he's turning into ASCII. Push the DX. So that's uh, increment. Increment this to counter. Compare AX to zero. Don't display leading zeros. 
jump not equal to push digit. Loop to display the, the digits in reverse of the order computed. So yeah, you have to go from right to left. Actually, no, you got to go from left to right. You're going to display it from left to right. So pop the DX and put character to the D low, loop, pop digits. So it's going to keep jumping around. And here it's popping up. It's taking the, the registries off the stack so that people, so that when it goes back to your program, you have the original stack that you had. And then here's the return. So it returns to your previous program and you're good to go. All right, so I just wanted to uh, try to go over this, uh, go over this and explain it as much as possible to you guys. So you can understand the real power of uh, loops and so that we could use this on our next couple programs. Um, uh, more loop programs, of course, after. So this has been Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials. I thank you for watching my uh, t uh, my video on put deck and get deck for displaying, for retrieving and displaying more than one digit characters in a assembly program. If you like this video, please subscribe for more videos like it in this series and other series as well. Uh, if you have any questions, email me. The reference book for this video is in the description, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.